Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Best Name Sports Show in Franklin County for Wednesday, June 13th, 2018. I am the Nighthawk, along with our studio director, Mr. Zach, and on the panel, the usual characters. To my immediate right, Nick Mumley, and to my far right, a surprise. I thought you were going <laughs> to... You told me you weren't going to be here this week. And I think, I think for the record, the last thing I said, I think that's what I first told you, the last thing I said was I thought, in fact, I had a one-third to one-half chance yeah. to be here. Yeah, well, I was out of my camp with my kid, had a great time, about 24 hours on the ground, but got back in time for the show. Did so I hope you're not unhappy to oh, see me. Oh, I'd love to see it. We just uh, got back. Lake Haverhill, did you take a little death? Little Haverhill Lake. I, I didn't. The water was still, although we, we drive right back by uh, Seymour Lake in Morgan, just a little east of Derby. And I saw, of course, having not quite dared to jump in the Little Laver Lake, I see like 10, 10 year old kids swimming in Seymour Lake. Water felt a little cold. I'm not at full strength, so we didn't swim. I had a great time. The lake yesterday. I went up to my knees. I just, we did. We, for whatever we, we, reason, we I didn't feel like getting wet yesterday. We but I'll tell you, and I know you're yeah, great, great an time avid kayaker, but my observation, whether it's right or wrong, yeah. I seem to be seeing much more kayaking on the lake I think than pretty, I ever I think have it's pretty, before. pretty popular uh, thing to do. Yeah, yeah, I'd say you're probably right. Yeah, yeah I, I have a camp down in um, Highgate Springs, and whenever I'm down there, there's always <laughs> at least one or two people going by in their kayaks right up do near the Do you kayak so yourself? I don't. I'm, As I told Duke, I mean, it looks easy, it, it probably is, but I have the arm strength of a better <laughs> six-year-old <Right>. girl. <laughs> hey, um, work on it, Hawk. You'd be, you'd and, be fine. I get tired. <laughs> I get tired. So, um, so, so anyway, that, that, of course, yeah, Mike, Mikey's, Mikey's camped there, that, and, his, and his parents all camp there. They, yep. they're Highgate, yep, right in Highgate Springs, right up near I've the border. I've never seen that, but it sounds like a great place. Yeah, it's it's a lot of fun to go down there. It's Good. On nice days, a breeze comes in what's, off the lake. What's the section of Highgate Springs that that's called? Oh, um, there's some section of I forget the name, but spacing it. Uh, yeah. Okay, good. Escapes me. We Sorry. shall jump on the baseball diamond and the Red Sox. As of, and it's probably a final now. They just, Please they, get it was through the final, ninth yep. inning. Five yep. one. Five final. to one. Finally, yep. Chris Sales gets a few Some runs of for him. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, how many innings them. did he go to? He went six Nick innings. Had a funny story. He, Nick, six he, innings, and he actually got um, he, he got he kicked pulled, out of the game. Oh, he, he got, got he got, got ejected as he came out of the game. As he left the game. The for whatever reason, I didn't watch the whole game because I was working until five o'clock. But I watched from when I got home till the time I left, and you know. The, the home plate umpire was not on his game, just to say kind of the just least. Just tired, tired of him? <coughs> yeah, he was just, gamer. and I, I think that's probably what happened. Really? But I mean, um, <laughs> Orsillo and I, I think it was Remy who was with him today. Um, they were not, not they Orsillo. Were, I wish it was Orsillo. Or, O'Brien. Yeah, O'Brien. <laughs> <laughs> no offense to oh, Dave. Dave right, O'Brien's good, but yeah. Orsillo. He's was no Dave Orsillo. Yeah. yeah, but um, they, they and they were talking about it. They said. This guy has been not having the best game all day. It's been both ways. The Orioles have not gotten the breaks either, and you know Sale didn't get anything, any help either. He still struck. He still had uh, nine strikeouts, wow. so uh, a good game for him. But he did get kicked out as he came out of the game to end the sixth inning, which wow. is kind of a weird thing. I've never seen that before. I I've mean, never, he's out I've of the never game seen anyway. that. Yeah. So the ump just obviously just yeah, visibly. It, Sale Sale was walking his way back to the dugout, really? and the umpire <laughs> motioned he was he was out of the game. Did and Sale react to that? Well, and, yeah. Man. Well, he he went through the dugout, gave some high fives and stuff, and then came back out came back on out. the dugout steps and was clearly cussing out the umpire. And really? Then went back in. Wow. He was pretty yeah. fired up about it. So. Lord Sale usually keeps pretty good control of him. You know, yeah. And I was yeah. going to mention too. But huh. there was the White Sox incident a couple of years ago right. where he cut up all the oh, jerseys. Of course. Right. Sale was, definitely has no, a right. wild side. I think side they were going to wear. Like the, the 1974. Yeah. Oh no, you're right. That's yeah. a good, good Yeah, shorts. he said he said that they were uncomfortable and cut and them all Chris up. Chris Sale, I was going to say, he, <laughs> that's a good. I haven't word heard one negative thing towards him. Good He's point. a very quiet, intense person. Yeah. The kind of guys you want in your ball club. So. No. Post game, he's good. He'll talk to the media, but yep. you know he doesn't yep. go out of his yeah. way to talk for hours. But he, but he's yeah, pretty so straightforward. He, he's yeah. got a ZRA under two point seven. He's having yeah. a great year, yeah, as you mentioned. Duke. He's but, just been the unfortunate yeah. recipient of not many runs being scored. But Nick, yeah. that, I've never, I've never heard that. I don't heard think of I've, that before. I, I've ever seen that before. Hawk, have you ever heard as someone? The young presumably knew he was out anyway. Yeah. Right. Right. Well, I have to imagine, and I'll watch the highlights tonight, or yeah. I should say the lowlights. Yeah. Um, 
the uh, he must have muttered something where yeah. maybe his maybe lips didn't last, move all that much. As he came uh, and off, yeah. I'm guessing the ump uh, was waiting for the last straw. So okay, I'll let mm -hmm. him have it. But then when he walked off the mound, you Agreed. can't show up and up even though if he's yep. having a bad yep. bad day. Yeah, yep. but big news for the Red Sox. They are first place by themselves in the by in the half the game AL East now. Yep. Uh, depending on what happens tonight between Yankees who are at home against your yeah, Nationals. and I will get into that. But let me say this, and I brought it up a week or two ago, um, and I am Mr. Untechnology. However, we got a call. Looks we like we do here. have a call. <coughs> I got a little frog in my throat here. Good <laughs> evening. You're the first caller tonight on the Best Damn Sports Show in Franklin County. Go ahead. Yeah, hey, guys. How's this going? Good. Hey, how are you? Good, good, thanks. Um, yeah, what happened in that game, I think you hit it, Nighthawk. I was watching it. Um, but they were getting pinched on both sides. Uh, the guy did, um, did not have his best game. But what happened, Sale went back out in the seventh, and he walked the first batter. He did then, go Oh, okay, so he did go He got to a three and two count on the second batter, and the ump called it ball four, and it was close. But, um, Sale didn't like the call, really, and Cora came out to get him. He had like 108 or 110 pitches. Huh. He walked two in a row, and that's the time you do come out and get him. So Cora came out, and on the way back to the dugout, Sale did look at the ump, and, you know, God only knows what he said. He muttered a couple words, and the ump pointed out, you know. So Sale did say something to the ump huh. because he felt yeah. – he got pinched on that ball yeah. four. Um, then Sale went to the dugout, did high fives with his teammate, and got to the door where you get back into the locker room and uh, kind of it looked like he let the F-bomb go on the um, umpire. So really? he muttered times, a yeah. few <laughs> dirty words, I think, then proceeded to more the showers. Them, yeah. But it was more <laughs> frustration. That it wasn't that one pitch, I don't think, and up. Uh, so he's a very intense player, and, you know, when you're on the field, sometimes you get a little intense. You get off the field, you're back to normal. But it was not a real big deal, and, uh, you know, bottom line, Red Sox won. So. Yep. And, again, J.D. Martinez there, another he had another seven, seven, nice seven. shot there. Nope, he 22. is a lot like yeah. Mike Trout, just steady eddies, you know. They just <laughs> keep putting up the numbers. They may do a... <laughs> 0 for 6, 0 for 7, yeah. and just come right back and just keep on grinding and grinding. And uh, it, it's just incredible, you know. I mean, uh, uh, you know, like I mentioned last week, uh, for $100 million, I uh, really feel the Red Sox got a bargain there. So, oh, yeah, you definitely. know, we'll see how the whole right. season plays out. Us, but, uh, so. you know, geez, um, just love the guy to death. Now, yeah, here you go. Caller, I <clears throat> bumped into you the other day, and you mentioned that perhaps the Red Sox should investigate uh, purchasing a third baseman, uh, either a Mike Mistakis or a Manny Machado. Who, you know, and the the unfortunate part for the Red Sox is they're, they're one of the two best teams in baseball. Unfortunately, they, they're, they, they ought to be. They're, unfortunately, they're playing with the Yankees. And as I mentioned every week, you really don't want to get, they'll say they win 102 games, but they may still may yeah. have to play the wild card game. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and a, a kid like Rafael D uh, Devers on any other ball club or about 27 out of the 30 teams could have a chance to develop. And he's not having a horrendous year. He's got 10 home runs, 31 RBIs. He's struggling. And he's but, 21 years yeah. of age, doesn't turn 22 until October 26. Really? I knew that because I'm invited to his party. <laughs> uh, but I, as, I, as I said, I bumped on this caller and I had not given up much thought. But, you know, if you want to keep up with the Bronx Bombers, and I don't know what the value of a Manny Machado is yeah. for to play out the rest of the season. Yeah. But that, and Mustakis, I don't know what his contract situation. Color is he a free agent after the season, or did he sign before this season? Uh, yeah, he's free agent now. He was free agent last year. They gave him the option. Um, what was it, eighteen, nineteen million dollars, and he declined yeah. and ended up 
signing for $7 million, Moustakis did. And I really, Machado's out of my um, price range. Yeah, but it, I would uh, like there's no way the Sox Moustakis can be Machado. for this well, reason. I wouldn't think so. Now, uh, great ball player, great defender. Devers would be a good trade piece. And if we turn the clock back two weeks, the Red Sox first round draft in this draft was a third baseman, I do believe. Okay. That Tristan, um, I forgot his last name. So, uh, yeah. you know, they, they see something over the next ridge as well. And this yeah. kid is a big, hard slugging um, third baseman. So they, they see something there. And the thing with Mustakis, what I'm thinking. In a couple years, or when that Tristan kid is ready, you slide Mustakas over to first base. And, you know, I think we would be pretty much set. Not that I dislike Devers. I like Devers. But, again, the Red Sox, um, you know, drafted this third baseman for a reason, you know. Call Not him, just to fill a spot. <clears throat> so Mustakas in three years, would be able to play first base. Would you trade Devers to Kansas City straight up for Mustakis? Uh, oh, definitely I would. Yeah. You know, oh, and, and, and this is complimentary to Devers, too. Um, you know, Mustakis is having a, a fairly good year, and you've got to remember, he's got nobody but nobody hitting around yeah. him. When you have guys sitting in front of you and in back of you, you're seeing a lot better pitches. Yeah. Um, a guy like Mustak, if you look through the Kansas City Royals lineup, there's really nobody there. I mean, they, you you don't get good pitches like that because they just soon put you on base uh, with a walk. You know, there's no fear of the next guy really driving you home. I, so Mustakis, Lake Manny Machado, what they do is on their own. Yeah, he, he, I, I... I, I can't see the Red Sox give it doing that one for one. Mustakis, they'd have to get way more. I mean, Mustakis is, he's in his 30s. Uh, he's at best a, a, um, an average hitter. He's an above average fielder. But with Rafael Devers, you've got one of the best prospects. He's 21 years old. They've got him under team control for quite a while still. He's only played one year in the majors. He's going to be a great deal on the con for his contract for quite a while. He, and that potential is there. He's, he's having a rough season at the plate, sure. And he's not the best defensive player yet either. But, I mean, he, he's 21 years old. You've got to give him time to develop. I think that he can be quite a complimentary piece, similar to Xander Bogarts on the Red Sox uh, 13 championship team. Is he going to be the best player on this team? No, but he's 21. You've got to give him time to develop. You can't give up on him right now. But my counterpoint to that, and I agree with everything you say, however, if you're playing for 2018 and can get a Moustakis or a Machado, uh, the Red Sox this year are a potential World Series champion. And I think Manny Machado would really put this team over well, the top. If you can get, they're, they're spending it, it, what, that's, 20, that's 30 million part. over oh, the I know. Yeah. tax. Oh, Devers, you're right. If Devers is a cheap money. contract for the next four to five years. Right, but I not really truly that. believe the Red Sox, I don't want to say don't care, but it's not a top priority uh, because right. they're going to pretty much sell out Fenway every night. And as you know, I well, think in only, fact they're not. I they're think, not. They're actually not quite selling right. out Fenway these days. In Nesson's value, which we've talked about before, is, and that's the team owner's own Nesson as well, is Nesson's worth more than the ball club. But uh, I think Nesson brings in the second most money in the major. It's only second to the Yes Network, yeah, yeah. which is the uh, New York Yankees yeah. uh, uh, network. Uh, so I, I yeah. can see it both ways. For the Red Sox financial situation right now, for them to move Raphael Devers. They, I think that would be absolutely crazy. Unless you can get an absolute gift trade to get Manny Machado, Devers needs to save it. <clears throat> My humble opinion, and just an opinion on this, because, again, I, I don't have a good feel what a part-time player coming back is really worth. For Machado, I would give Devers up. Yeah. For Moustakis, I would probably expect a decent minor league prospect to come back yeah. and return. So. Hmm. Uh, I just think that... Yeah, I for, think you're underestimating Moustakis, too, Nick. You looked at his numbers last year, too. Um, he had 30 some home runs. I'll tell okay. you where Devers does drive me That's crazy. Fair. It's in that batter's box. The other night, they threw one at him, bounced it in the dirt in front of him. He swung, and they said they ticked it. And they looked. The umpire said, yeah, it was a tick or foul, whatever. Then the pitcher hauls back, throws another one. 
bounces another one two feet in front of the plate. He swings again. Um, Devers is an all or nothing. He's a two thirty hitter, and yeah. he has no plate discipline whatsoever. Now I can see striking out. You're young, this and that, but the man is. There's no plate discipline, and when you see that. You will never see a 280 hitter out of him. Well, um, defense average at the best, and he's very heavy on his feet for a young man. He is not built like a third baseman. He, uh, you know, a third baseman to me has to be a little more agile and everything. You know. Yeah, but, but you know, then again, that that's just me. You know, but the, yeah, the thing I, that drives me the craziest is watching him at the plate. Yeah, and I, that's understandable. I mean. But uh, once again, I mean, he, he's 21 years old. Um, I, I think that e- even if Moustakis was uh, a, a better player, a higher level player than I may think he is, um, I, I think that the looming free agency is just an automatic red flag. I mean, what if Moustakis comes in, plays half a year in Boston, then leaves? Then you've lost Devers and Moustakis. Um, and you've got Moustakis' age, too. He's 10 years older than, uh, than Devers, too. I mean, and, that's, and then the whole financial thing. I think that, you know, I'd rather keep Raphael Devers and, and work, on, work on the homegrown talent than trying to chip him off for what could possibly be a rental, and that could really backfire for the Red Sox in the end. I think if Pedroia comes back, I would sure just give no, Devers some more time off. No, don't play him every day. Get yeah. Pedroia back at second and Nunez at third. Yeah maybe a day or two a week, which is his best position. Don't Just don't put so much pressure on the kid is what exactly, I do, yeah. if you can. Yeah. But that's <clears throat> the age-old question, though. Do you, You've got the pieces to win, win it all this year. You know, worry about the future and the future. And, you know, I, I, and again, I can see the argument both and ways. Again, but again, like <clears throat> I mentioned, um, they draft that Tristan, I forgot his last yeah. name, yeah, he's I believe a he's a first and third, third baseman. baseman. Yeah. Now, the Red Sox did not draft him just to fill a spot in the minor leagues. This kid is going to be playing. Um, I don't think Devers is in their long-term plans, or they would not have drafted a third baseman but, in the but first Bobby, round. How, but so how you much do can, have to consider that as well. But how? But I, I just give such little stock in pro- baseball prospects. You make it sound like the guy they drafted is almost... Uh, a certainty to make yeah, it. I would I mean, never was, think that about any baseball He was the 25th overall prospect. pick, if, if I remember correctly. I mean, you're way more you confident than I am. You follow this closely in the minor leagues. These first-round people do come up quick now. Yeah. And as I said last yeah, week, these yeah. drafts mean a lot more now than they ever did. But yeah. there's you're a difference these between or 19, 19, 20 year old pick kids coming up and the 25th be- pick. Go ahead, Nick. The, the, I mean, you look at Ben Benintendi. He's an example of a guy who came up really quick. He was, I believe, the seventh overall pick. And, you know, that's a little bit more expectation. Any, in any league, you're going to see a, a top ten pick <clears throat> ready to go within a year or two. Um, you know, this uh, Tristan guy, um, he, was, he was mid-20s. Uh, that's much less of a guarantee than, um, than any Benintendi. I mean, and that guy, he, he's got a lot of red flags, too. He's a big hitter, but, I mean, he's got a, a lot of hit, – hitting is his main, main strength, but he's not great at anything else. Uh, and so, you know, he, I, I think he's far from a sure thing. So the Red Sox, I think, the battle. Should, they, should, they should just let it play out and, and let this guy kind of get, um, get accustomed to, the, to, the, uh, to professional baseball before they make any decisions because, I mean, this guy's never even taken a professional at bat yet. So you can't, you can't base your future around a 25th overall pick that's never even played in the pros. No, no, you're right, and I, I'm just putting out speculations out there. But what I'm telling you guys, uh, these kids that are getting drafted are a lot better, and it's taken a lot more serious in these yeah, drafts definitely. than it ever was. The draft is um, growing Getting back to these salary caps are hitting the upper limits. Um, you know, a, a lot of these teams, and like we said last week, instead of um, paying up an old – an old guy, 32 years old, seven, eight million a year. They're bringing these young kids up to play. You're going to, I said before, you're going to see the average age in the game of baseball going lower and lower and yeah, lower. Yeah, definitely. And yeah. these these young kids drafted are going to be key players in it. Yeah. Um, you know, again, the day of paying people for what they used to do are over. It's done. And you 
saw that this year, the way they paid the free agents. And, yep. you know, people better get used to this. This is the wave of the future. Yep. Yeah, definitely. And the Nationals have this Juan Soto who's just performing unreal, age 19. Yep. And, uh, you know, these kids are coming out quicker. Now, player for the Yankees, Miguel Inderhar. Yep. What a rookie this year. Oh, yeah. I guess odds on favorite for r- rookie of the year. Yeah, he's but up what, there. Yeah. Nice, nice ball player. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. I mean, there's definitely a lot of rookies coming up, and so yeah, and the draft has grown a lot. I mean, you look back ten years ago, the draft, you wouldn't see any coverage of it at all, and the MLB they've used <clears throat> social media and you know online streaming and technology, just how it's grown in, in the last ten years to really help grow the draft too. And, um, you know, you've got those, and it's, it's helpful that these kids are coming up faster because that's the MLB's big problem is you go into the draft and, I mean, even the top five picks, people are saying, hey, we're not going to see this guy for five years. That's not, that's not the truth anymore. I mean, we're, we're seeing these top, top 10, maybe even 15 players within the first year or three. And, you know, that's big for the draft because people are going to start watching it. They want to see any other, re- like, same exact reason why the NFL draft is big or, um, or the NHL or NBA. Yeah. Now, caller, I have a question. Um, these guys lamented that the Red Sox are in first place by a half game. Yep. I, I lamented that. I don't know. Or Nick did. That. Nick did. I, uh, unfortunately, uh, the Yankees are fortunate for them are playing the Nationals, and they're, they had to bring up a pitcher, Eric Friedy, to pitch tonight. Yep. The, so the, Yan- the Yankees the, did or the Nats did? The Nats did, did because uh, Jeremy Hellickson, who's got a 2.3 ERA, yeah. and Strasburg both went on the DL. Well, the really? Yankees just brought up a pitcher. Well, well, Sonny Gray is pitching tonight, yeah. and that's this is the question I'm going to pose to the caller. Sonny Gray, about three years ago, was one of the top four pitchers in the league. So very simply, what in the heck? He's got about a 4.5 ERA. What, what, what has happened to Sonny Gray? Well, I don't know, maybe the bright lights of New York, who knows. But he had a good game his last game out, and he has um, Romine, his personal catcher now, for the Yankees. So maybe you've got to remember, Sanchez for the Yankees is probably, arguably, I'll say, the worst catcher in baseball. Are you... The guy is just terrible. <laughs> yeah. Collar, and... Collar, do you know Sanchez is hitting 190? You know, he's got, I believe, double digit. Yes, home I did know that. I, yeah. I was shocked. I was looking at the Yankee stats yeah. today. I was shocked he was hitting 190. Yeah, that, that seems good for him. That and every other him. ball goes between his legs. He's not a he's not a good catcher by any means. And um, Romine, is it Austin? Is that Austin, his first name? Austin Romine. Yep. For the Yankees, uh, he seemed to have connected really well with them the last game. So you may see Romine getting more... Uh, catching games in for the Yankees and maybe slide Sanchez to, to the D8 spot. You know, uh, yeah. p- pitchers aren't, you know, always terrible. Sometimes, you know, it's the catchers that, um, you know, kind of make them look bad a little bit, if you will. So yeah. we'll see what happens. I think it's still within Sonny Gray, but it's probably not easy playing in New York or Boston, you yeah. know? Yeah, that's for sure. For sure. You're right about that. Yeah. Well, thanks, caller. Okay, we will catch you guys later, and great show. Okay, Thanks, Chad. Thanks, Thanks for calling. calling. Um, yeah, so uh, Steven Strasburg, who had signed a 175, which I called a bargain deal, seven-year, 175, $25 million a year, but he's got shoulder inflammation, and every time he pitches, I'm always holding my breath with this yeah. guy because he, he never goes through a season without yeah, spending time on the DL. I feel like it's been like that his on the entire DL. career. So what's yeah. the story with him? What'd... Shoulder inflammation, I think, and mm-hmm. I know nothing about that. Not it doesn't sound like it's wicked serious? Well, not he had clear? to pull himself out of the game, so no, I, yeah. I really don't know how long. It's like uh, Daniel Murphy played his first game last night for the Nets. His had, first game? Yeah, he had microscopic surgery on his knee in October. Really? That was a deal, but not a big deal. Yep. Well, they yeah. never really let on, and his recovery slow, and 
He, he's just a professional hitter. He looked terrible last night at the plate. Of course, he was able he to had that DH. In, he had that in October? Yeah, he just got his first he's, game in, his, and he's DHing tonight. Really? Um, and your guy Bryce got them just reading about where Harper yeah, had Harper a tough had a game, game yesterday, night. huh? Oh, he got hit twice. Got hit yeah. twice. First time he's been hit twice in a game since August 16, 2013 in Atlanta. He had just been hit once prior to yesterday. That Boy, having, not having a great year. Last night too. Well, the Nats... <clears throat> Atlanta Braves won again today, yep. I believe two to nothing. Yep. So puts the Nats at a game and a half behind. Uh, the pitching I t is great. Their pitching is super. Yep. But their team batting average is 235 here on June uh, uh, 13th. And the team simply, they're 11th in the league and scoring runs. And hey, you don't have to be the top team, but you kind of like to be in the top yeah. third. Now, did Severino pitch last night? Um, Sabath Sabathia oh, pitched. Yeah, see, uh, oh, really? oh, oh, by the way, I, I never knew this. I never yeah, even pitch, looked, pitch well. looked it up. Pitch but well. uh, the broadcast I had last night was Michael K and the Yes Network. Oh, yeah. Do you know what CC stands for? Never no, knew this, no never clue. even <laughs> thought about it. Carson Charles Sabathia. Really? Carson Charles? Yeah, well, I never, never, never yeah. thought about yeah. it either. And again, you know, and we talked about trades and in a matter of hours, the Yanks will be tied for first again. And <clears throat> I like to bet, but I wouldn't, you know, I'm still thinking the Red Sox I will win, but I wouldn't bet a nickel. Yeah. But, you know, each team is playing about 650 ball. I mean, it's just nuts. And they're continuing on this pace. So it, it could be a July 31st trade yeah. that, oh, yeah. that I, could I think, mean the difference. I think whichever team makes the biggest splash in the trading market. I'll yeah, still pick the Yanks, but they're two obviously good teams. You know, Boy, I didn't Deep realize TV. that Sanchez was that poor of a defender. Is he, Nick? I mean, he's below average. Which I, means yeah. when somebody says they're below average, that means they're the worst. Yeah, <laughs> and yeah. so his future uh, catching... Uh, I think yeah. the Yankees. But what about Didi? You guys pay attention. I'm Didi's just reading Didi Gregorius' right. stats. You he, ready beat for a, his, he beat us last night. Are you ready runs. for his stats? In, in May, 327, 10 homers, 30 RBIs, at least through the season's first full month. 151 in May, one homer, five RBIs. Finally comes to life yesterday. Yeah, he got two home yeah. runs, beat us three to Boy, nothing. That's, that's, that is so weird. When, I mean, you know, it happens, but... Yeah. You know, but that is baseball. Uh, yeah, there's is very baseball. few Talk to JBJ players. about it. Yeah, yeah. it's weird. Um, yeah. so. Same thing with Devers right now. I mean, and and Didi's well, hit 11 slumps. of his 13 homers in yeah. homer-friendly yeah. Yankee Stadium. But, you know, like Steven Strasburg, people don't realize this. It's, He's got the fourth <clears throat> highest or best ERA of active pitchers in baseball. Is that right? Uh, Kershaw's around 231. Chris Sale... Is ahead yeah. of them, and there's just for career, career, right, yeah. of active pitchers. Yep. So when he's playing, he he, he, he pitches, he, he pitches, pitches well. well yeah. uh, but jeez, he's been injured a lot. And uh, talk about injuries. I mean, look at what's happened in the last week here in the in the rest of the league. Tanaka's gone on the DL. Uh, Otani might not pitch till 2020. And, and Miguel Cabrera. Tanaka I was going to call say, talk too. about here since you brought it up, but this was an injury. Due to a guy A being overweight and B more importantly not being in shape, yep. playing in the National League Park, Tanaka got a hit, yep. and got eventually made it over to third. Yep. While with one out, there was a fly ball, so he tagged up and did his first 90 foot sprint in his life. Yeah, and he not only pulled one hamstring, but he pulled two. both hamstrings, and that, that was the cause of his injury. But you're talking injuries. How about the Carson Smith story? What a, what oh, a yeah, pathetic Carson story. Well, yeah. Carson, we hardly knew ye, Smith. He's gone. Yep. And guess what? Smith is a Boston Globe story. Peter Abraham. Smith is eligible for arbitration after the season when he's obviously not pitching anymore. Yep. It's far more likely, yeah, if not certain, yeah, I think you can underline certain, that he'll be non-tendered. Yeah, yeah, that was a great trade. Duke, I'll tell you a trade. This is, this is a guy who throws his glove after being upset and totally yeah, yeah. screws up his a shoulder. A trade the Red Sox wish they had back was the Travis Shaw for Tyler Thornburg. Yeah, Travis Shaw right. had a yeah. great year last Tyler year. Tyler he's done great four, stuff. 14 home runs, 43 RBIs. Really? Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, he, he, he had he's, 30 last year, too. He, Shaw's so. been a steady force and for And Thornburg, Brewers. of course, I, has been a, a pillar in the Red Sox. I look at that yeah, trade, though, so. But he, had, he did for the road. We talk about this a lot. 
he had a horrible yeah. second half of the season. Yeah. After, I look at that as they Shaw him. wouldn't have been Shaw wouldn't have been that good if he stayed in Boston. Yeah, I, I, don't I don't think, think I, you're he, probably right. He he looked pretty dead in the water. By the and end Devers, of his time and if, there. if Devers <coughs> does turn out to be a and great ball Devers player, Devers out, yeah. got an oh, earlier he, chance again, than he would have. Yeah. The, the biggest stat about Devers is his age of 21. Right. But yeah. my whole but you're right. point at this point that trade, yeah, that trade looks yeah, it's horrible. Shaw's one of the better. Thornburg is he maybe supposed to pitch one of these months or something? <laughs> one of these I months. I don't know. He's been in the same boat as Carson well, yeah. Smith. Do the Red Sox much. make way more than their share of horrible signings and trades, or is that just me being a Red Sox fan? Well, well I mean, Pablo comes to mind. Yeah. Oh. And I remember, Hawk, you, you were pretty right. When, when they signed Hanley three, four years ago, you were all over me. Duke, why are they doing that? I said, Hawk, they obviously like this guy. Hey, it wasn't a total. It was certainly nothing, nothing along the yeah, Sandoval he, he was disaster, yeah. but... Up and down. It wasn't, you know, he yeah. hardly had a, it was up and down and maybe a little more down than up. Yeah. I just want to uh, let you know, we played the Giants over the weekend and our good friend Pablo played two out of the but three Pablo games. is playing. He's he, playing decently. He, he's batting 280, number of home <laughs> runs. He, he, he's a uh, bench player, but he's performing well. Don't but even, he's still, don't even. Still, still as big as ever. Don't even yeah. go but, there. And they I didn't even, didn't even mention it. Well, Carl Crawford was a free, yeah, free right. agent. So. Yeah. And, but I will say kudos to me, because when the Red Sox did sign Sandoval, I, and I said, and I quote, he's no better than an average ball player. I hope I didn't go too crazy. He was two, a 265 lifetime hitter, uh -huh. probably would hit 14 home runs a year. Yeah. And what made him... And was a good, good postseason player. He was a player. great postseason right. player. He was fat that I could relate to. Yeah. And uh, he had the cute nickname of Panda Bear. Yeah. But uh, the Red Sox just... They That's why, in part, yeah. why Dan Shaughnessy was, seemed, seemed to be easily, easily the loudest critic of the uh, dumping of Ramirez. Just saying, hey, guy, I hate yeah. to tell you, this guy's a Yankee killer. He's been a great postseason player. So if you want the Red Sox to make some noise postseason, you yeah. might not want to dump. Yeah. I think the jury's still out on that. Oh, it, I have, it, it I have, just, I have yeah. absolutely mixed emotions yeah. about that. Yeah, I would say and right I'm not now. Sure Moreland, Moreland's got a great start. He's starting class. to He had his broken yeah. toe last year. Yeah. I'm not convinced Moreland's a yeah. full-year, full-time yeah. player. Yeah. If. I hope the Red is. Sox stay injury free. This will look good if they get uh, riddled with injuries. But I do well, have a question, yeah. Mr. Nick. It, it's been what two and a half weeks or so. Why has not Hanley signed with anyone? Yeah, but that's, Nor that's I'm not reading one. anything about yeah. this guy. That's a, that's a great it, question. It is odd. Um, great question. He's and on the back of a milk. Of course, curve. money wise, yeah. Hanley's got his 50. Not like Hanley's not like money's set. an well, issue. Well, that was my follow Maybe Hanley up. feels like. You know, taking the season off, pocket is 15 mil, and next right. year, that was my if he perchance feels inspired to do something. Question, because minimum wage is 550 no, He gets nothing. For playing, he basically gets nothing. A team only has to pay, at this, as of today, around 350 Nothing. So, but I was wondering yeah. on the way to the studio here, I'm just wondering if he's just kicking back and pounding down gin and tonics well, maybe. for I mean, the summer. Yeah, you make the good point. I, yeah. he, gets, he basically gets nothing more for playing. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, hey, yeah, why not? Take it easy and pocket your, you know, mega bucks and stuff. Yeah. Not like he gets any more money really for playing, yeah. unless maybe pro. You know, who knows? Yeah, and he's not but at that I, point anymore where he can be a big impact player on a championship. But team, that is so. a good point. You think? I mean, yeah, you think there's I, some teams that could probably use him and stuff. Right. Yeah, maybe he doesn't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, uh, when it comes to the Yankees and the Red Sox, one of the things, and it's still forty percent or so into the season. Depth and yeah, the and poster the child for depth. A couple injuries away from being it, done. Is uh, Stephen Wright, the forgotten Stephen Wright, has Thank come you in for coming back. and pitched about 14 right. innings, last two couple starts of great games. Of, of shutout <laughs> ball. And again, he had a great, well, a very good year two years ago. And even though he faltered towards the end of the yep. season, he still ended the season around a 3.4 ERA. Yeah, right. of course, and, and, until, right, his injury when they threw him in pinch running yep. in San Diego. And yep. if he continues to pitch well, and as we know, knuckleballers, when they when they're, their days, they're yep. flat, he, he's going to get shell. However, he could retain that spot in the Starting I would think, that did Pomerantz used to pitch some relief? If I'm the Red Sox, again, I'm worried about Chris Sale, a great first half. Yeah. Every year he fades a little <clears> bit. I think if Stephen Wright, if he's pitching decently and Pomerantz comes back to some health, and who knows, I'd be very tempted to just give everybody a little extra rest, go with, if not a six, you know, six starters, 
five and a half. Maybe get Pomerantz in there once in a while, maybe give him some long relief if he can do that. But it might be a luxury of just giving all the starters a little more time. And in the case of Sale, especially, that might be some of some good use. Yeah, that's not a bad idea uh, in the maybe the dog days of August, yeah. with hot, humid. Yeah. You m maybe go through a couple turns, but with a six starter. I mean, Cord did that a little a little while ago. Maybe when he threw right, I, I forget. I would you know just within the past weeks, just gave everybody a little more rest. But no. for Sale, I'm just concerned. I mean, he's been very consistent, a much better first half starter yeah. for whatever reason. And again, his one big postseason game last year. I'm not hanging him on one right. game, yeah. but. And, and as you say, Hawk, I think it's likelier than not that the Red Sox are in the wild card game. So, you know, whatever. Yeah. If you can give Sale a, a little more rest before that possible game, who knows? Yeah. And the thing, too, about the wild card game, just say them and the Yanks are a game apart and you have to keep your rotation. Yeah. What, say the Red Sox for five games out of first yeah. had the wild card, they could take Sale and skip his turn of rotation sure. and save him yeah. for that wild card sure. game hopefully win the game, but then the, the nemesis of, well, he's not available until the fourth game yeah. of yeah. the but series. But you're right, the wild card game. Talk about pressure. That's not, yeah. I mean, obviously I want to be postseason, but geez, I, I'm not even sure I could, I'm not even sure right. I could watch I, that game. Yeah, and I, I've never been a fan of that game. Anyway. Again, the but Red Sox, the pressure. Orion Keys could literally win 100 ball games yeah. and play yeah. in this right. wild card. Lose it. Exactly. And play be gone. more than likely yeah. Seattle would be my guest that would be the team yep, that they would probably. end up playing. No, you're and absolutely you, you, right. You don't know. Yeah, you don't I, know. I, yeah, I've never been a fan of that, especially with a team in the Red Sox situation. I don't think one game, because, I mean, ultimately that game comes down to pretty much who has the best ace. But the, and, but the, but the flip side is, I mean, you know, winning the division, you know, shouldn't that mean something? Oh, I mean, absolutely. talk about it incentive should. for winning the division. It should, but, you know, I think that the fact that you, <laughs> even once you get out of the wild card game, you have to go play... At a, a five-game series at yeah. the number one seed, yeah. uh, I yep. think that's that's a big deal as well. I think personally that it should be a three-game series in the wild card. And I guess that'd uh, be I guess that'd be the kind however, of the however the downside of that, Mr. Nick, is you're making these other teams sit out yeah. for 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 a number of days. And we got now, and we got well, the you last can do game. That, you can do that. You you can do that series okay. in three days. And, and again, be, you, yeah. you 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 advance the story here. Say yeah. the Red Sox. Or Yankees win their wild card game. Do you know who they're playing? They're playing yeah, each, each other. other. Exactly. So you already know the the first round of the playoffs. Yeah. It's going to be the Red Sox and Yankees. But Hawk does make a good. I mean, as it is, the last game of the World Series is usually November first. I mean, it's ridiculous. Yeah. How late they go anyway to to force yeah. it a little later or something. Yeah. I, I don't think it would make. I, I, you don't I, think that would. You don't think that would you affect can, that. You can huh? put that. You Just can play put a, three, three three games. Three in a three games with in one in, obviously in three one days. off day after that. Presumably. Yeah. You, you'd get an off day, and I, I think that. At yeah. most, that would push push it back one yeah. or two days. I just hate to have so. the series being as late as it is anyway. But. I'll tell yeah. you what, Duke. I mean, I look at the American League, and, I mean, Cleveland has been playing much better the past month, but I'm counting the Yankees, Red Sox, Indians, Mariners, and Astros. Yeah. Okay, those five teams, in Seemingly my opinion, almost, almost they're, 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 they're better than any season. team in the National League. No, National League. Uh, is, Hawk, is anybody close to those guys in the AL? Are, they, are those five teams just way... Well, the yeah. Angels might play into it. Angels. But Angels Otani's are, out now, too. Yeah. So. Angels are oh, six oh, is and a half. Like, Otani is getting what, Tommy John. Oh, is that? He's, I didn't yeah, even... He's, is he officially that. getting Tommy John? That's what I've heard. So we so. don't expect him back till he's, the All-Star break. He's, he's sure. serious? He, yeah, Tommy he's out John? until 2020, they're saying. And so he may miss all... Of, right, because yeah. Tommy John is about 15 to yeah. 18 months. It's funny months. you mentioned and, Tommy John. This is yesterday's globe. Hawk, I'm, oh, this really? is a great... Uh, can you see that picture? Is I, it too far away? With the mountains mountain. in the background? Yeah. It's a great picture. This is a globe front page sports story. Stan Grossfeld, who would mean probably nothing to you, Former, he's a former Pulitzer Prize-winning photographer. This guy does great stuff, yeah. and he does some writing. He's written, writing the story, too. The headline, Tommy John says teens shouldn't be having Tommy John surgery. Let me just go into this a little bit. La Quinta, California, beautiful photo here. Tommy John is angry, but not about getting into the, but not, about not getting into the Hall of Fame, despite 288 lifetime wins. 
or about the fact that if you Google his name, it comes up either surgery or underwear. Yep. <laughs> Tommy John is upset that the majority of Tommy John surgeries are now being performed on kids. Quoting, my God, it's appalling, says John. They're in there getting their arms cut up. It shouldn't be. In 1974, when he was 31, John had already pitched 12 years in the majors when Dr. Frank Job performed a landmark ulnar collateral ligament elbow surgery that saved his pitching career and his, his namesake. He went on to pitch 14 more years and never missed a start. His message is, is simple. Don't cut on the kids. I'll stop yeah. there. He's now 75. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and so that's a big deal. And Miguel Cabrera, I don't know if you guys saw yesterday yeah. either. I, w I was, um, I was in, uh, oh, I might well, have been yeah, on, on Mars yesterday. Yeah. Uh, Cabrera ruptured his biceps tendon. He's wow. out for this season, wow. probably next year too. What? Wow. Is that, and, yeah. I saw he was out really? for a year. That, they were saying on ESPN that he's probably is, out for next year too. Yeah, he, right? swung, he swung and wow. he, he ruptured his, his tendon right there and he's 35 years old. This might be it for him. Wow. Yeah, I, I right? would yeah, love, might be. can you get in your tweet machine if possible <laughs> yes. and see what he has the remainder of the contract? Because he um, may be sitting at home doing some gin and tonics yeah. all of this it's, year and next year. Uh -huh. And I bet he's getting 25 million a year. Where, where? He's got over 150 guaranteed. Yeah. Now that yeah. you mentioned that, why, I mean, can baseball contracts, I mean, we're used to football being funny money, un understandably. Right. Why can't baseball contracts, can't they figure in, or again, do the teams get, I mean, ins they obviously have insurance. I so never have an like, answer to that question. So I'm wondering, it's not like they're out this money? I mean, they, insurance covers stuff like this? Yeah, I don't know. Or wouldn't you think a, a regular baseball contract, wouldn't you think? Injuries would come into mind. Hey, hey, go. Hey, Jen, hey, hey, blow. 154 blow million remaining, it, or that was his contract. Uh, no, 104, 154 million guaranteed remaining, oh, and oh it's over 200 million. But why can't they throw in injuries? Hey, this is guaranteed money, except for the fact if you can't play, it's right. not guaranteed well, money. With but July, maybe it doesn't matter. But that's the end. That's just the major if they have league insurance. Players, maybe it doesn't the, matter. That's the players' association being really good. Right. But there. but with July 31st right, coming up. And Detroit's under 500, but considering they yeah, played well. Trend. But Could Cabrera, be going to Cabrera would have been a trade chip on Dad Levine. And, yeah. I, and he, he would have been yeah. gone. God, what a what a trap. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But, but I was mentioning maybe Hanley to Detroit at this point. Yeah, maybe. But, they but, could use a first but, baseman. Well, maybe, maybe. But they're not. They're obviously not going anywhere. Yeah, Detroit out is of it, but. six games under. But of course, New York and Boston will be tied for first. Then Tampa, 13 and a half foul, but we kind of knew this picture anyways. Uh, Cleveland is starting to run away. They're five above the Twinkies. Twinkies are five games under. Not Twinkies legit. usually seem to hang in for a while and then yeah. usually yeah. fade and, later. In the West, they almost won the, the Seattle Mariners. Yeah. Yeah. The Seattle Mariners really getting no publicity. Red Sox, of course, um, next four games at Seattle. Oh, they're four at Seattle. Game that'll, yeah. be, that'll, that'll be, be interesting. Yeah. It could Possibly a, a wild card preview. Yeah, yeah. that's Not a big, that's Seattle, a big, yeah. big, big series. Seattle's playing at a 642 clip. Houston's wow. at 632. They started the day at a half game. Houston, but we all know Houston without without, Ron, without Robbie, who does uh, who does resurface yep. what late in the season. Yep. I guess. Well, Seattle's got some good pitching this year. Yeah. James Paxton's really come around. Yeah. And, you know, I, I actually, huh. I was reading up on some trade rumors. Doesn't Cano today. come back later? He does. I mean, he does, 80 games not, suspension. He can't play nope. in the postseason. Oh, but that's a good... Whoa, 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 wait. So they let him come back for some late regular season yes, games? and but he, he can't, can't, he can't oh, play in the postseason with that. the PED suspension. Correct me if I'm wrong. He got weird. an 81-game suspension. 80, I think 80. 80, 80 game. game suspension. Yep. I did not hear this. And Seattle wow. obviously will make the playoffs. So yeah, yeah. Nick, that's, Nick, that's Nick that's mentioned that before. He definitely that's, can't that's do the really, playoffs. Yeah, you you huh? can't do the playoffs. So. Oh, I Boy, did not. Um, I learned something. That's in, that's interesting. And, and yeah, that, that could be big for them. But yeah, that's it, interesting. So, so you have Atlanta, Washington, National League East. They're separated by a game and a half. Central, the Brew Crew, still playing good still ball. Holding hey, off thank the you, Red Sox. Game and a half over Chicago. We know the Cubbies will win there, but we expect Milwaukee probably huh. to get a wild card. Wow. And, and the West. D-backs are on a five-game win streak, three games over the Dodgers, who I expect to win that division. Huh. Giants, four and a half. Rockies, five games out. So baseball, if you're a baseball fan, it's been a you know, pretty pretty good year. Um, and the, again, the Yankees and Red Sox just no, showing no signs of crack in the armor. I yeah. mean, these guys are who we think they were. I'm sorry, yeah. you're talking Red Sox? Yeah. Of course, the, the dead, the, the pale hose wasn't their best series. No, but no, they're but having a very good year. It's, it's going to happen. Like I told you, the last two games against Houston showed me something. I was not thinking they would win more than one game 
at yeah. Houston. And they I, I pulled really out the think, last two games. Yeah. yeah. So Austin's, no, they're good. Austin's free. <coughs> they're good. If they can stay healthy. What, a, what about Pete? What about speaking of which, Pedroia? Any word on Pedroia? No. Is there a chance we don't even see him again? Is there a I chance he's know. history? I, I, I think haven't heard there, a word about a him in a week. I think there is a chance that, that that's the case. Um, you would hope not, but I think either way, no matter what happens, this is his last year in Boston. Really? Um, really? You think? Of course, he's I, got what a couple, three. But who, who, who else is gonna? I don't wh- think. What are they gonna do with? Who I else can, is gonna I, I think pick th- up that contract? I, I think he he really might just get the same face, Hanley Ramirez. Yeah. Um, well, because the I Red Sox, they're, they're so up right. against it. But and Pedroia has been so. He's so far from what he was five, ten years ago. Well, if he, if he, and, I mean, uninjured, I still think he's. I think I still think he's a decent ball player. Yeah, Maybe I'm crazy, but that, we think, may never see that again. I, Is I that right? Do you think he may sen- be done? Huh? He, he's a sentimental favorite in Boston. They mm. love him. They love him here as they should. I mean, he's done so yeah. much, so so much, I mean, nobody, so many great no, things. Nobody for, played the game for Boston, harder. but. Um, wow, you know, so you I think mean, he might be just about done. 34, I believe. Yeah, and, 35, I mean, injuries, maybe. injuries have really caught up with him. I yeah. don't see him on Boston. And really. there was a classic example of the contract at his age was too long. I, I yeah. guess. And, Nothing I thought and about And again, Major time, League but. Baseball is learning their lesson. In fact, Bryce yeah. Harper was yeah. in the news today, an unnamed American League. Oh, I can't remember if it was, was just what, saying, don't expect Meg, don't, don't think Harper he'll get mega saying, bucks. And I hate unnamed sources. You know, just say yeah. I'm Nick Mumley, and this is the right thing. But it was a major league executive that saying Harper, don't expect him to get the big bucks. He's a selfish player. He's a loser, and all that. A lo- might, a a lo- lo- you wouldn't call him a loser, would you? Well, they've won. But I certainly, they, they just. I certainly don't, and Dave Handy agree. We certainly have never thought he'd get the mega bucks. You at least were talking I about. I was in the talking past. 400 have you come, million. Have but you come down I some? I will say just. The climate of baseball yeah. over this past winter has, has, has changed. Is, there's no yeah. doubt about it. And he's not it. exactly helping himself. He's hit a bunch of home well, runs. Well, he but leads other than the that. league in home runs and maybe fifth in RBIs. However, he's batting 228, Average is terrible. and yeah. that's going to stick out like a sore thumb. Oh, yeah. And I'm just yeah. wondering if he actually is feeling the pressure yeah. of could, it. Could be. So, yeah. could be. And, you know, I, I think uh, for yeah. his sake, uh, the Nets. A, have to make the playoffs, and B, make a long run, and C, he, he's going to have to perform yeah. Yeah. Um, during yeah, the playoffs. If, if he wants to get so anything close I want to, to turn that. my attention over the gridiron, and I'm just dumbfounded how things like this happen. Julian Edelman, the second most popular New England Patriot next to King Brady, I mean, well, I'm not sure he's more popular than Gronk, but he's he's probably yeah. top, yeah, but top three or uh, four. The, the, yeah. the ladies like Julian Edelman. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, oh, yeah, no, he's very. I love. He, I love. I love. How the guy. in the world? I mean, uh, they always say, "I didn't know." Yeah. Okay. How do you even put a cough drop in your mouth without calling your team physician or whatever? It's. Just, I, I'm, mm-hmm. I'm astounded. That stuff like this happens. Head, headline in the Globe yesterday today, answers elusive in Edelman case. Uh, the news of Julie Edelman, fa- Edelman facing a four-game suspension for a PED came out of nowhere last week and has produced several follow-up questions and plenty of confusion. Fortunately, the NFL's 44-page policy on performance enhancing substances is available to the public and pretty clearly spells out the entire process. However, There's also a strict confidentiality agreement in place and a half a million dollar fine for anyone who breaks it. The NFL office also purposely keeps itself in the dark. It does not know when Edelman tested positive, what type of test he took, or what he tested positive for. The league simply refers you to the media policy to answer any questions. The NFL Players Association did not respond to a request. And that but, was, I, but I hear you. And I that, mean, how can you, how can you screw yeah, up? And that was a follow-up I was just going to have is, why do we know so little? If they're penalizing this guy, they should make public exactly what happened, what he took. And it sounds like they routinely was, because, uh, don't do you know, that. I think they should shame the player, yeah. Yeah. part of his but penance. The report was that um, it, it's been around, this came out, Supposedly this Monday. happened a while ago. Well, this it happened. It happened months ago. Um, but a couple of days after the original story broke, it it came out that he tested positive for a unrecognizable substance. <laughs> right. I guess I heard the same thing. Which you can't, uh, and that that's a very that makes it 
adds a whole other layer to it. Nobody really knows what that means, but I'm pretty sure that you can't get suspended for that. And so this could definitely help him win his appeal if they don't know what he took exactly. Like, he tested positive for PEDs, but they don't know exactly what PED it is. But so, has he or has he not come out and said, I, I don't know what I did? Or? Yeah, he said, he said, I don't know what I okay. did. I, I don't know how this happened. Sounds like um, there's an incredible lack of information about yeah, that. Yeah, there's just the, the NFL. I don't like the NFL's policy. I think more information should so be released. So question, okay, in this but, story. Okay, so, so what did Edelman test positive for? We don't know. The NFL will never announce it. And the confidentiality agreement, which apparently somebody broke, prevents anyone from saying anything about it in theory. However, it was reported that Edelman is in line for a four-game suspension, which per the policy means he had a first positive for a stimulant or anabolic agent. A second positive results in a 10-game suspension and a third positive in a two-year banishment. But it sounds like there's incredibly little info about yeah. this. Yeah, and, and that just makes it tougher for, for everybody to really get a grasp on this. Yeah, you look up the word vague in the dictionary. Yeah. Then, got a then, let me just give one. you just a little more. Next question in the story. How did, the, how did he test positive for a substance that wasn't immediately recognizable? That's according to the MMQB. Did I already reference that? Quarterback. Which reported that scientists are trying to figure out exactly what Edelman tested positive for. Yeah. The policy does account for some of the unknown. The test can be considered positive if a player's ratio of testosterone to Eat, boy, I don't even know this word. <laughs> Eat, epidesterone yeah, is greater than four to one. Now, that's helpful. A test can also be positive for players. No, forget it. I'm getting yeah, lost. I, 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 but, sorry. Yeah, and I, <laughs> even, if he, he do, even if he wins, even if he doesn't win this case, has to serve the suspension, is this really a, a, a bad thing for him? Like, that, I mean, that, he's recovering that, from an that's ACL That's a good point, injury. and I've heard some other some of the I Boston mean, media folks take, say the same thing. Yeah, the, the four game suspension. I mean, that's right. just four extra weeks. To I mean, it's like get Brady. I certainly made, and I'm sure others game. did too. Made the same point about Brady when he had the four game suspension um, on yeah. what Deflate Gate. Where that maybe wasn't the best, the worst thing. Just yeah. four games to not get beaten up exactly. on. Exactly. Yeah. Although, especially in Edelman's case, coming off a serious injury. That may, that may not be, it may, in fact, yeah, that may be a blessing in disguise, yeah, it really possibly. Might be. Yeah, I, I don't think it's the words out of my mouth problem. because yeah, the reality point, is good the point. Patriots play in the weakest division. Is there one team in that division you think is even going to ruffle the feather? Yeah, you know, they, the, they, it's they not have, going to happen. Those four and games, the first four games are, you know, reasonably. They, have, right, they got te right, Texans, Jaguars, Jaguars will be tough, Dolphins, but, and somebody but else. But the Patriots yeah. routinely win. They're probably two, they're probably not worse than two and two. 13 games a year. Ten wins, and I'm sure the win more than ten could easily win that. For the division. record, that's it, always a fair point about the Patriots. But for the record, when they play out of their division, for the record, it's not like they oh, a 500 no, team. No, 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 yeah. no They no, usually I, do pretty not, well against. No, no, I will never say. But it's certainly a fair point. Uh, right, yeah. I'll never say. The division say is a Ill. weak division. Um, and the other thing too, that could happen is, the Patriots, by the virtue of having those four games. We'll have another receiver that could blossom. Mm -hmm. yep. and they've got, a, they've got that, a bunch of receivers. They have that rookie, Braxton Berrios, who has, yep. he's going to have an opportunity to prove himself. Oh, exactly. They've got a bunch of so, guys. They're calling him Edelman 2.0. Right. So, as the season, Mitchell's back this year. Yep. 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 As the season goes on, injuries will go down, and maybe yeah. one of these kids yep. that play the first four yeah. games will be battle-tested. And so Now, it's, it's not the end of the world, but I do have a complaint. But it is weird. I do have a complaint about the lack of information. Just yeah. like yeah. a player yeah, in baseball fair. gets injured, yeah. and it's a lower or any sport. Or how about hockey? How about, lower, how about hockey? Lower, lower body, body injury. so much info about hockey injury. Yeah. Or an upper body injury. So yeah. when I'm thinking a lower body, bodily injury, did he crack a toenail yeah. or did he pull a groin? Right. What yeah. is going on here? And, yeah. you know, I, I just think we deserve the yeah. information yeah. As, as a fan. Isn't hockey, I mean, isn't hockey about as bad as oh, I think hockey's the bad. worst. Hockey's yeah. a joke, right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, keeping on the uh, Patriots, yeah, I, I don't, and most of this happened on Twitter, and I know you guys aren't on Twitter. Um, oh, how do you know that? How did you know that? <laughs> because I searched Nighthawk you don't and think nothing I'm, came up. You don't think I'm no. all over Twitter yet? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I don't know if you guys heard about this, um, but Gronkowski, Everybody thought he was going to be traded last week. I've got a Globe story on that yep. if you want to hear it. And he, Bob Kraft says that's total hogwash for what that's worth. I don't Is know that, if you guys heard the rumor either that 
Belichick wanted him gone. I heard, I think I then, heard that rumor, which well, I the rumor, obviously didn't believe. For anyone that didn't hear it, the rumor was that Bill Belichick wanted had a trade in place with either the 49ers or the to Titans. Bring, to bring Jimmy, if he was going to bring Jimmy G back, I would have maybe... No, know, that's yeah. not happening. <laughs> and he was going to trade Gronkowski. He brought it to, uh, and Robert Kraft and Tom Brady were there. Tom Brady said, oh, Brady you make says, this trade, I'm, I'm going to retire. Are Kraft you serious? Nixed it. Yeah. I'm, I missed this. I, right. I don't, I don't believe. I don't, there, do, do you believe all, that story? This is all speculation. <laughs> Um, like I said, Kraft says this is a bunch of BS. Yeah, I don't believe this story. Did said you get no. that from an unnamed source? For the record, Gronk, Gronk <laughs> well, also says it's a bunch of BS. Was, for the record, it was B. I mean, there was a, there was ESPN then, guys. Adam Schefter was talking about it. So are I these mean, the same was, people who are telling me that LeBron may up with the Celtics? Is this the same people <laughs> who are doing that? It was actually released by the same person who broke the. Um, the Julian Edelman news the day before. So, that, he, I mean, that, he, that he got suspended. Yeah, it, it, really? it was a, a fairly reliable source, but it also may, may have it. been a source yeah. that was looking for it. even more attention. I'll tell you what, the story. Um, I would not give up that much for Gronkowski. Um, injury riddled is an understatement with this guy. Yeah. Can Has he perform? He ever Absolutely. Finished a season? Right. Uh, so, yeah. and I'll tell you, uh, Duke mentioned Jimmy Grappolo. I, I, I'm telling you, right now that the 49ers wouldn't trade him to the Patriots for Tom Brady. Right. But Hawk, you make yeah. a good good point. Don't, just don't put Jimmy G in oh, the hollow. No, no, and no. You no, make no, that no, point no. all the time. No, no, because those... I mean, some people have this guy, you know, I mean, seven, what, seven games so far? Right. A very good seven games, right. but... Yeah. Duke, when he won those easy. five games with the Niners, Yeah. I mean, when he got traded, I think the Niners had one victory for the whole year, so. and yeah. these were all completely... Meaningless games. Yeah. Now there's some expectations yeah. on yeah, the Niners expecting this year. But I like the guy. I wish him well. Oh, yeah, he's but, a great yeah. guy. And again, Pump as, I, as I've mentioned almost every show, for the Patriots, I think have gotten too much grief for, again, they probably should have gotten more for him. Maybe they should have traded him at a better time. They're going to keep Jimmy G on oh, the yeah. bench and franchise him for $20 million. Well, I love the people yeah. saying, how could the Patriots do What are they supposed to yeah, do? They, they Your were, choice was either get rid of Tom Brady yeah. or, or, or move Garoppolo. They were in a yeah. no-win situation. Right. Geesh, they could have traded Brady before the season. What did Brady do last year? Right. Oh, he won the MVP yeah. and Gee. made the... Should have won the Super Bowl. Two and a half minutes yards. away yeah. from... 505 had, yards had the best Super Bowl performance ever. And just defense just didn't show up. Thanks, defense. And again... Well, thanks, um, coaching, for not putting Malcolm Butler in. Yeah, well, that probably didn't right. help. And, <laughs> okay, and thank you. The theme here for the last 20 minutes is no information. Yep. There's something before I die. I would like to go in my grave, and maybe Butler's on the Titans now, yep. but maybe at some Titans. point when after he retires, he will give the true story. Well, I don't happened. think he, he I doesn't, don't even know he, if he Yeah, knows. maybe he doesn't. I mean, again, yeah. he was. all we know is he... He was he sick that week, I think. It, he didn't yeah. have a good practice. Yeah. But don't you remember before the game he was crying? Really. And, uh, you know, I don't like boys crying. Yeah. However, I thought, boy, here's a, v- now, a now veteran player that is probably getting the realization, what a great life I've had. He's yeah. just being taken up by the moment. And lo and behold, he's at the end of the bench. Well, yeah. But yeah. I hear it. No, I'm not, de- I'm, again, I'm sure not defending it. And, and yeah. you saw how... Brady was so upset. I mean, the whole team, it might have been a, hey, geez, coach, you know, put him in and see what he can do. You got the, the whole team is freaked out that he's not playing. Right. But I'm not Straight defending it. Straight up Super Bowl, if you yeah. ask me. No, that was, that yeah. was weird. So, I don't know what to tell uh, you. Uh, mandatory uh, training is going on this week. Yep. last two weeks Big is news optional. The and Eli Manning, at age 37, they say he's looking... Absolutely yeah, right. unbelievable. Yeah. And, of course, Barkley, the second overall. He's got to be happy to have yeah, a yeah, seemingly he, great running back next to him. Yeah, yeah. and I think, I think Eli Manning's confidence is going to be at an all-time yeah. high. He's got a nice, he's got a good running back coming in. The Giants could have used the second overall pick to take his successor. They didn't. That shows yep. they trust in him. So Eli is going to be dangerous this year. I really think the Giants yeah. are going to be a good team. And, and I'm and not Odell saying Beckham's our offensive too. line is a Dallas Cowboy offensive yeah. line. But getting Nate Soldier from That's the Pats. for sure. Yeah, good and, uh, That was an underrated and, signing. And, and Will Hernandez, their second round yep. pick, should have been a fr- I thought he might have ended up with the Patriots, to be honest with you, with their first pick. Uh, we'll be starting left guard. This guy is a beast. Uh, uh, there's a fight at center between John, uh, names you don't know, John Halapo and Brent Jones, that was formerly CFL. 
yeah. uh, offensive lineman of the year a few years ago. Uh, Eric Flowers has gone from left tackle to right tackle, which is an easier position to play, and I think he'll fare okay there. And we signed Patrick, um, it'll take me about week nine before I get the pronunciation, from the Jaguars, uh, Patrick Omeo, I think, whatever his name is. So it will be a better line. Uh, so I'm, yeah. I'm excited, and here we are mid-June, and training camp opens up in five weeks, and I, I don't want to think about that r right now. So <laughs> um, now, uh, turn our attention over to the hardcore. I'm very structured tonight. Um, as we talked about last week about the uh, Cavs and Warriors, this was not good for the basketball no. world. I don't think it excited anyone. A Rocket Celtics series would have just enamored the basketball world. The first world. game yeah. had the horror show at the right. end of the first. Cleveland won the first game and might have had a semblance of interest. Yeah. 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 So, After they lost that game, as everybody, yeah, yeah, everybody knew, I think, like, forget yeah. it. So, yawn, yawn, you know. Yeah. Um, of course, and then of course, And then, of course, uh, the news from LeBron that he supposedly injured his hand you know, after crashing. He was I, in the cast. Of course, he got a lot of grief believe, for that when he. I don't uh, believe a second of that because there's that been right? there's been um, I don't know once again a Twitter thing. You, they, I've seen all over Twitter. There's videos of him doing push-ups in the locker room is before that, is that right? before game one. Yeah. And let, I want to I want to go out and say what a tool <laughs> for for doing for doing push-ups in the locker room with, when you know you've got cameras right there. Yeah. Come on, yeah. what well, I mean, so come on. They, I don't know what to that's say. ridiculous, and that, yeah. and then he says that he's got a he's got a broken hand. After so Nick, that. I know you follow LeBron much more than I do. I'm putting you on the spot right now. W what jersey will he be wearing come November? Oh, it's gonna be tough. That's tough. I think I don't no, want. I, I want an answer. I, I think. Or give me the two leading contenders. Two in leading right. contenders. I, at this moment, I, I bet. I, I bet. I bet. Just you know, I bet at this moment. There's none. I bet LeBron will just listen to all offers. I bet right now there's. I'm, I'm just not sure he even has a clue right now. I yeah, he I don't think he knows either. Duke. I think it's going to be either Philly, anyway, Philly or Los Angeles. Okay. Uh, what about Houston? I'm hearing Houston. Houston could be a place to go, but I mean, is that a place that fits well for him? I don't know. I don't know. What and about the Boston talk? Is this again? Is this the same Boston the grunt talk, trade I can, guy? I would. I will bet my car I mean, that he does Kyrie? not Kyrie. Yeah. I mean, that sounds yeah. ludicrous. Isn't that ludicrous? Why would ludicrous. you? Why would you bring LeBron back no. in after you bring Kyrie? Yeah. Why, in to so get why are we hearing? Where does this stuff come yeah. from? Right. Where did LeBron? No, I don't know. But that's not going to happen. But uh, but would you say that LeBron will not be coming back to Cleveland? I, I, oh, wouldn't, I, I, wouldn't think, say, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say that for sure. I would put Cleveland in my top three. For you him would. I wouldn't yeah. say that they've got an eighth round Simply draft. Simply because who knows what else they can do. They there's, could end up getting. The man one. Rodney Hood had one had yeah. one good game in the playoffs. Right, never saw there's, him after. There's no there, there's no perfect situation. And, and hockey for does. I mean, I think he truly does. I mean, he's an Akron guy. I think Ohio does mean the world to him. Maybe not the Cavs, but no. I think I I would guess Cleveland. Can I is tell you play. another spot I heard? And again, this is all summer gossip, yeah. but uh, is. Miami. Back he, to Miami. He, he enjoyed his time down in Miami, and that's not a bad ball. I, I, think I think Miami would be a place, to, if this was like two or three years from now, where he could go to be in a retirement community among the rest of the Hanging people. Hanging around on South Beach. In South Florida. Um, but, I mean, I, I just, I, I don't see Miami simply. Okay. I, I, think, I think he still wants to go out and win championships. Miami is a place, you, you, if he goes to Miami, and they don't really do anything else. That team's going to be a playoff team, but there's no way they can compete yeah. with the Celtics. They can't compete with the Warriors, the Rockets. Now, what about the Lakers? I, I think the Lakers are going to be a top destination for him to look at because you know he has a house in L.A. Oh, they've, is that right? He's got yeah, a house they've in got LA. a they've I got a good that. they've got a good situation out there. They've got Ingram, Kuzma, and Lonzo Ball all, all out there. It, I mean, yeah, they got some. They have the a Lakers. Good young team. I, I think the. As that young core continues to develop, LeBron, I don't think, would interrupt too many yep. people out there. Uh, everybody can still do their own thing and, and continue to grow. LeBron can be that kind of leader for them. I think he can help those guys develop. Um, and, you know, I think the Lakers could become a, a championship caliber team. And Paul George has been rumored there as wow. well. Boy, if so, Paul George, if they grab Paul George, that might yeah. be some more incentive. Yeah, the big knock on Philly, of course, is he just, everybody just says he's not a good 
still with Ben Simmons, who seems it, to be that's, the... And that, that's, but, why, that's why I'm confused why Philly would even be interested, because, you know, LeBron, there's a lot of places where this guy could go, and mm -hmm. even though he's the best player on the planet, yeah. he could be incredibly detri detrimental yeah. to yeah. the future that of that team. The because line. the word I got is Philly likes having Ben Simmons with the ball. Ben Simmons yeah. has got to be their guy. I mean, he's he, he's a young guy. This was his rookie year, yep. if you uh, if you want to yep. say that. Technically a second year, but... He um, will win yeah, in the rook of the year. Jason Tatum will get started. Driving in um, from the kingdom, I was hearing just some sports talk. I didn't pick up the gist of it, but a little talk about Kobe Bryant apparently had some stuff to say about LeBron and whoever the host was. Wasn't it? But I didn't really pick up. I didn't yeah. hear anything about Kobe's comments yeah. about no, the I didn't. Well, let but, me just tell you, yeah. NBA is at their zenith right now. They've oh been, yeah, the NBA it, has yeah. never been more popular. If they yeah. can it, get that on-court product, it, to, it cuts to through get every to the next demographic. Level. Yeah. And part of the thing too, uh, other than the the most amazing athletes in the universe, is pretty good athletes. They're playing in their underwear. You 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 know their face. Yeah. You know you can relate yeah. to them. We're a football player. Some you know. Unless you're an avid fan, they could walk right in here yeah. right now right. and you won't even know who right. he is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. And same with the hockey. Faces, yeah. When Duke and I were young, this is pre helmet time. Hawkins, I, mean, I appreciate you're, you're grouping me with you. <laughs> Duke, I mean. Being, being ancient by your young right, skin. Right, no, that's very I mean, nice I'm in your decade of the 60s now, so. Uh, but that, hockey, that, Huck, that just ha that just happened, right? Back in April, I'm 60 now. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't take some note of that. Yeah. Did, 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 did you do it up? Was that a note where were, were you here? I was you on going? a cruise ship. You're cruising. And the waiters came over, gave me a cake, and Today? sang "Happy Birthday" <laughs> to me in in uh, Indonesian, whatever language. That is that is, right? And, yeah. Wow. Um, did you sing along? No, I did not. I just, <laughs> I just ate it up. Welcome, yeah. welcome to my decade. Not that yeah. I, not that I've got too much left with it. Yeah. Um, boy, I forgot what I was talking Sorry. about. Sorry. Oh, I don't. Well, another thing, too, I've, I've got in my list here. Kyrie Irving. As okay. every day passes, me thinks he's not bleeding Celtic green. No. And I'm, I'm hopeful that Danny Ainge will trade him. It appears that he will we'll not trade be him before next season? Trade him. he just got definitely one more year That's left? That's what he we, does, yeah, yeah, one year left. Just, it's, I mean, one year. I mean, this is a tough situation. This is a real it's, tough situation. Really, you would because you would, we have Hayward back. We kind of know Tatum at the old age of twenty yeah. probably will get better. Oh, Jalen yeah. Brown is a beast. Okay, and I think Terry Rozier, in his fourth year now, I think yeah. coming up, is right. responsible they decide enough with him to yeah. to be the starting point guard. I think so team. as well. Um, you know, Is game right? seven. So and we played talking... well. We played well. The proof's in the pudding. Kyrie yeah, the... wasn't there during the playoffs. Yeah, we... the, yeah, the yeah. proof's in the and pudding, you know although we didn't. We didn't and let me tell get, you this. Didn't get let me to tell the you finals. this. You don't think, you don't think did, it would have been a competitive How did Jason Tatum improve his play so much? No. Because he got Sorry. the ball. Exactly. Okay, yeah. Tatum. Yeah. Need, and what did I tell you during the Same season? Same with Jalen I like this Tatum kid, but he goes invisible. Every now and then, yep. you yeah, know, he got, got pretty visible again. And he got the ball. And as far as and I say it all the time, I have never seen a player with a more vertical jump shot. There's no, it's all yeah. straight up. Yeah. And he will be an assassin. Yeah. I, I expect I, I think him. He, he's going to be a top five player in the league very and, soon. And Jalen Brown can do everything. Gordon Hayward, yep. we already know his wares. So and Terry Rozier. I don't think there's a faster guard in the league than him, yeah. and he can play some defense. And speaking of defense, uh, you know, uh, Jason Tatum performed pretty well on the uh, defensive side of the court himself. So I'm saying right now, uh, is I'm not sure what you get for Irving. Well, uh, but it, so is that right? You would look to move him before next season. Yeah. And another thing It looks too, like he's going to walk. He said. Well, I mean, he, he, said, he straight some, up said. Well, Duke, he said he doesn't want Duke, an extension. So well, he said. Right. You know, but Duke, let me I've just say Irving this. Story we have Marcus there. Smart, who I want back. Yeah. I was wrong about him. We have to have him back. Well, especially I, I, again, I think there are two sides to that. I mean, next his shooting, year, his shooting, his shooting right. has got to be. But a, for a backup point guard, I think right. that and what he defense, brings to the table, yeah. and number two, is Rozier is a free agent next year. 
The money has to come from somewhere. So instead of paying Irving, who I'm not sure would resign, but he's he going to get not. $30 million a year. Yeah. You want a little, this is from the Globe again? Can I give you a little? That's this why you're on the show. Again, thank you, Boston Globe. Irving's own future in Boston is not yet certain, for sure. He's in line to become a free agent after next season, and he acknowledged probably again on Tuesday. He's got a movie coming out, so he talked to a lot of media folks about his movie. And he acknowledged on Tuesday that he will not sign an extension with Boston this year, an obvious decision due to the fact that it would cost him tens of millions of dollars yeah. because million, of the salary limitations the total, that yeah. come from signing an extension soon uh, rather than inking a max deal next summer. Now, quoting Irving, contractually or financially, it just wouldn't make any sense, Irving said. Of course, the lack of an extension is no, in no way means Irving will not be interested in re-signing with the Celtics. Quoting again, I think you guys can feel my attitude is really just redemption next year. He said, really integrating myself with our team again and really focusing on winning a championship. That's the only thing I'm really worried about. Until I get to that point, then I can't really answer any questions. I'm pretty sure management and I will have a talk, but that talk won't happen now. Yeah. So that's not, yeah, yeah, it's not usually being totally straight hey, about it. The truth but you're right, matters, it might be one more year. We've got two budding superstars in Brown and Tatum, huh. and Hayward's already a superstar. Huh. So, um, you, so you deal. And Big Al Holford, his stats off the paper won't punch you in the face. Yeah. However, you have to watch his He's yeah. the glue yeah. on yep. that team. He really He's is. so yeah. unselfish. Yep. But, so, how, but again, that big, I think the question came up. How big a market? I mean, whoever gets well, it. Well, let me tell you this. Next Wednesday night, got maybe next Wednesday night we're going to be talking about <clears throat> the draft. The draft is next Thursday mm -hmm. night. And you're going to wheel and deal. Now, Celtics last year had a very good season. Only four players returned. Danny Ainge right. knows what pieces he can move. Yeah. He Half this team probably won't even be back uh, uh, for, yeah, for next Danny, year. Danny's and Kawhi got a Leonard, track record. Who I'm a bigger fan of than you. The Celtics gave the uh, Spurs a huge offer yeah, back in, offered February in February for him. And they're enamored by getting Kawhi Leonard. Huh. So, has yeah. he said anything about Celtics? I. Uh, if Danny gave him that big offer, there's no doubt he's throwing yeah. his line out in the water right now. Huh. I, I mean, I, I think Kawhi for Kyrie straight up is a possibility at this point. Um, but again, the but value. I mean, if you only geez. have a one-year contract. Yeah. They're both. I mean, they're both pending free agents. So it's so whichever Leonard, one you Leonard's think can got get. one year. Yeah, Leonard okay. is going. To, Leonard and Co and okay. uh, Kyrie are going to be okay. free agents at the same time. I would do time. it. I would do it. Uh, uh, I think it's got to be. I mean, who do you think is going to get the best chance to re-sign? Because you know, if you firmly believe that Kyrie is going to re-sign, then <clears throat> hold on to him. But if you think that if you if you think that it's up in the air with Kyrie and you think Kawhi would kind of be a safer bet. Then go well, ahead and make that trade. At this but point, how could you possibly exactly think it'd be like likely this. that he? I mean, you just don't know. What yeah. Nick? Flip a Nick, coin. That's it, but and if and if it's flip a coin, <coughs> why, why make the move? Well, I Nick, mean, yeah, it Nick, just wouldn't make sense. Nick, Nick, Nick. From my <laughs> unnamed sources, I have heard that uh, Kyrie would like to play for the New York Knickerbockers. Yeah. I think he wants. Mark, is this, are you talking, or is this from somebody? These real? are unnamed I've, sources. I've heard this okay. a, a little bit. Yeah. I, mean, I think that'll. He, York, he wants. Columbia he wants the, the the brightest lights. Yeah. I Could be. I don't know. It's just. I think he can't say. I mean, but I it's, guess it's that's a good point. So, if you don't, you certainly don't know so for sure he's resigning. Um, yeah. If you don't know that, may, maybe what you say. I sense. honestly think Kawhi will end up being a consolation prize um, to whoever doesn't get yeah. LeBron. Um, simply, I mean, you look at it. There's interest from. Boston, Philly, and Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. Those are three teams who are also showing interest in LeBron James. So, you know, I, I think LeBron's going to sign with either Philly or Los Angeles, and the team that doesn't get LeBron will probably get Kawhi Leonard. Sure. Um, I, I don't think the, I, the Lakers have interest, but the Lakers don't really have pieces that they can send to San Antonio. I think Philly would probably be where Kawhi ends up mm -hmm. if LeBron doesn't go there. So, And, and it's very likely that Kawhi could just stay put as well, and you know LeBron to San Antonio is not completely out of the, out yeah. of the, um, 
out of the range yeah. of imagination. I either. did read somewhere today that uh, they're in the mending process, yeah. Hawaii and the Spurs, so who yeah. knows. It, it sounds like things are getting better. I don't <coughs> think a trade is guaranteed. Yeah, so before we run out of time, I want to jump on the links here, and our attention yeah, will be at Shinnecock Hills Country Club South in Southampton, Southampton New York, Long Southampton, Island. Long Island, New York. And Dustin Johnson, after his performance this weekend, he's a huge odds-on favorite to win this tournament. Now, a better choice than Tiger Woods, I'll certainly well, say that. Well, I, I, I missed at this, so I'll just give you the top. Dustin Johnson's at a seven to one favorite. Then it jumps up all the way to 14 to Jordan, one. Jordan, folks to, like Jordan to Spieth. Ro Rory. Then at 16 to one, five players, Jordan Spieth, Justin Rose, Justin Thomas, and Ricky Fowler and Tiger Woods is in that group. I'm not sure how it's justified that Tiger well, at is least, in this at group. At least he's not the favorite, which Vegas, yeah. Vegas had and him the, winning the Masters. And the guy that Duke and I like at 18 to one, Jason Day, who we haven't heard no, much from. Sounds, but Dustin, sounds... Dustin Johnson, what a, what an athlete he looks like out in the golf course. Yeah, that sounds that sounds you know not too yeah. crazy. I yeah. think it's just such a toss. Just again, as we talk about. There's so many good golfers. I, I can't remember there are the 20 course. Guy, 20 plus guys who could win that. Tell so me, Duke, easily. about the yeah. course. I can't, you know, looking at it, I had a sports article that had it. I think it's, a, we're talking Lynx course, I think. I don't think you're going to see a lot of trees. I've got a story on Tiger just playing the course in practice the other day, but I don't, I'm looking for InfoHawk. I don't have it in front yeah. of me. Yeah, because David Handy is usually pretty good about oh, yeah, remembering David, David yeah. would be golf courses. That. I don't. But I had a story on that because it showed me the outline of it. Well, I think we're talking Lynx, Lynx course. Now, Nick, do you want to know who the worst foursome in golf history is? Sure. Stormy Daniels, O.J. Simpson, Ted Kennedy, and Bill Clinton. You're supposed to say, well, why? Well, why? Well, Stormy's a hooker. O.J.'s a slicer. <laughs> Ted can't drive over the water. And Bill can't remember which hole he played last. <laughs> oh my God. So. Golf jokes. By the way, Duke, I never asked you, did you see that Ted Kennedy movie in April? Chopper Quiddick. Chopper I meant Quiddick. to see it when I was on the road. I didn't. It yeah. sounded like it was a, a legit uh, movie. Yeah. I didn't quite see it. Yeah. Uh, so I will be setting the DVR for this because it is the open. Have you got TV? I don't even have anything. I don't have know. You got TV coverage right I, there? No. I don't have it. So, but should should be should be fun. Should be yeah. fun. Starts tomorrow, of course. How many majors does uh, Justin Johnson have? Do you know? Four. I think he just won. His, I think just just won. He yeah. finally won one. What Latin was it last year? Or just a PGA, so. I think. Yeah. yeah. And not married. Of course, yet. he got screwed in. I'm not. I'm not aware he is. What do I know? Of course, he got. He was the one who got nailed in Wisconsin. Right? Was that another PGA when he walked in? One of those, you know, traps that people were walking through all day. Like five years ago? And he touched his when, whenever. I mean, I think he yeah. was en route to winning I, that. Yep. When, you know, I mean, it sounds like he kind of got screwed out of that one. But, so yeah, Dustin's very good. You'll pay attention to that, Nick, I trust, being a major? I will... Uh... You I'll, pay I'll, some give, it, Nick I'll give it. A, I'll give it a look if it's on. If it's on TV. Sorry, I'm, like I said, I'm coming from camp. You're not getting yeah. me at full strength. I'm sorry, I'm not <laughs> in better shape for the. I see uh, that open. you've made the tour of uh, all yeah, of you know the me. Northeast I love, Kingdom, I love getting writing it. the newspaper. Absolutely. So. <laughs> this is Newport Daily Express is not yeah. one of Vermont's top papers, but the Caledonian. <laughs> actually, Hawk, you'd appreciate the Caledonian records. Caledonian records, and also the paper. Orleans records, the sister yeah. paper, same stuff. Yeah. This is the only daily in the state. I think I can probably safely say with a. Conservative editorial, editorials. Oh, okay, yeah. really? The publisher is a pretty good conservative. Yeah. Anyway, so. but the Open should be should be fun. Yeah. So and the French Open, we rarely talk about tennis, but uh, Rafa, another another yep. dominating Rafael performance. Rafael Nadal. I read though today. I was trying to get. I was trying to study up when I was when I was looking making my notes for the show. I was like, you know what? I'm going to look into some tennis stuff because I know that He's French the Open tennis just happened. Guy, yeah. Hey, I actually, read that I play, actually he played might... Tennis Monday, kind of limped around, but I did did play. I think my competitors took it a little easy on me, but it was mm. nice to play. I read that Nadal might not play in Wimbledon because he's like really fatigued or uh, oh, is that or something right? like that. He's yeah. playing in a, he, he was really. playing like after the after the French Open huh. in some tournament. And he had to withdraw, really? and his doctor said to like pay attention to his yeah, he, he, so he did done. withdraw he did, he, from this upcoming week's tournament. Yeah, well, I mean, under, understand. Yeah. A lot of times they do that 
after especially winning yeah. a major. Yeah. But they said but they said Wimbledon is in doubt for him. Yeah. Oh, but is dude, that right? Dude, know, how remarkable man. is that feat winning 11 times? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's just uh, on clay, he's unreal. Again, his overall record at Roland Garros is now up to, I believe, 86 and 2. 86 and 2 in matches at the French Open. Jeez. And, and I forget, actually, one I can almost remember <coughs> the guy. His first was Robin Senderling or something. It was an earlier round. And then I think maybe uh, Novak beat him, beat him one year. No, of course, uh, of course, uh, Roger Federer doing just you know has has sat out the clay court season, but gearing up for his beloved. Correct me grass if I'm wrong, season. but I think Federer won his tournament. Federer won the Australian Open. But yeah. I think he played in a tournament this past week for the people that don't like playing on clay. Oh, could, I think he, whatever, wherever be. that the, the was. Grass, the grass court season officially started Monday okay. with a tournament in Stuttgart, Germany. I don't but know if Nadal The funny was thing is the Federer or Nadal remains number one and uh, Federer is number two. And the, both these guys yeah. in the 30s, it wasn't all that many years ago. Oh, when yeah. you hit 30, that was, you yeah. were, you were uh, toast. Absolutely. You know, when Pete Sampras, again, one of our great, yeah. retired at 31, you know when Bjorn, remember Bjorn Borg? Yeah. The great Swede, guess when he retired? Well, since you ask he, it like that, I'll say 28. Great, great guess, 26. Oh, <laughs> he retired at 26. 20. Of course, but, Agassi kind of got him. Andre hung in pretty right. long and he played well. Right, he was the first. But Federer had, you know, just seemed to be down to a, a great second-tier guy. And last year, what, won Wimbledon last year? Maybe won two last year, won the Australian Open again this year. It's just come back to, you know, top-tier And you've got the Williams sisters in the mid-30s, so it begs the question, yeah. what has been going on where these well, guys could have I, a I half guess, dozen I years? I guess you think, like, I mean, look at golf. We talk about golfers all the time. How many, how many golfers like Mr. Sad, you know, Sadler? I mean, I mean, these golfers are in incredibly good shape. These guys, razor thin, pencil thin guys. Yep. I got to think they're obviously taking better, you know, better care of themselves. Just keep yeah. in excellent shape. You know, I mean, Tom Brady's still still kicking and stuff. Yeah, you right. you got to think they just take care of themselves better. Yeah. And a lot of these guys get upset that the season's so long, and I and I and I don't blame them and stuff. Obviously, if you're running a tournament, you want the best players you can get. And boy, it is a long. A long season and stuff. I mean, Nadal. I think all the look at Federer. Federer literally sat out the clay court season. Literally didn't even compete in a major. Mm -hmm. You know, just kind of saving himself more. So maybe they're doing that more. Yeah. The thing I have against golf, it's not their fault. They just play at the wrong time of the year. I wish golf season with that great weather was during the winter when you're stuck inside right. the house with nothing to do. Although, for the record, I mean, the, the real season does start January in Hawaii. Right. So you do get... Right, and right. You know, my you favorite tournament. Post-Christmas, tournament. you're getting right. good golf. But, uh, but even with the U.S. Open, um, I will have to make an effort to watch it because yeah. so summer is so darn on, short yeah. in Vermont yeah. that uh, you, you even hate to waste one right. day. Yeah, right. you're right. So. Yeah, yeah. And the World Cup coming up this... Uh, Huck, I'm surprised that wasn't on your list. So. I love the vote. I mean, I was talking to my kid. My kid Ian was in Morocco with his mother not too long ago. So the, the World Cup in 2026, eight yeah. years hence, we'll came North down America. to two competing bids. The U.S., we won. Canada, and Mexico getting together with one bid, and Morocco the other. You know, it would seem like a, a mismatch. Right. Right. The vote was still two to one. Morocco still got yeah. a third of the votes. Yeah. But yeah, we won. Of course, our good friends of Canada and the U.S. getting along, and Mexico is so great these days. I'm kidding, of course. I guess they're relevant too. Yeah. But Morocco, they had, you know, Morocco needed 16 billion dollars in stadiums, like yeah, none of they which they to be have. All 14 Where stadiums. Again, so, a kid was just yeah. there and his mother. I mean, this is not a country that's awash in yeah. money. I mean, are yeah. you serious? Nick, do you actually up on pay Morocco. attention to this stuff? Um, I try. I I, I pay a little. I, I, pay I like a to. I'll, I'll pay attention, especially around a World, World Cup, Cup season. I I've always loved attention. the World Cup. Um, you know, I yeah, no. I might not be in it as much this year because the United States isn't in it, and I haven't really decided like who I'm going to okay. pull for. So yet, but. we did not make it through the stage of. Qualif the qual yeah. qualifying. Yeah, the U.S. We, is we not, not okay. in it. So I don't it. follow soccer. Yeah. Hawk but you is, know Hawk what Hawk always happens? Hawk is crestfallen, Nick, about this. <laughs> Cre crestfallen. Good you word. know what happens every World Cup, though? They always throw that spin on you. Like, yeah, soccer is a coming-of-age sport in this country, and it's really... Po well, two weeks after the World Cup is done, nobody knows a thing. And I, yeah. will, I said this to Duke before. Until the day I call somebody up 
to ask them to do something and they say, oh, geez, Hawk, I can't. Uh, the New England Revolution are on TV tonight. It's, I, I've, I've never met one person yeah. that says, or, you know. Well, didn't, no. we, didn't we vaguely talk about going in? Didn't even you? Didn't we, we talked about Saputo, going to Montreal going to game to in Saputo, Saputo Stadium, Stadium yeah. to yeah. see the uh, have, uh, Montreal, is it the Manic? Impact. 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 Yeah. But I'll tell you and what, they were, dude. And they battled the revolution. And right? I will tell you, I would follow the Impact. And it was June, they draw well. That's a it big, was that's June a of last there. year. So the one year anniversary is right about now, Duke, when CFCF Sports yeah. shut down their sports department. Oh, yeah. And, gotcha. and five minute, okay. Uh, they shut the sport, and there was no better sports, like a 10 minute sports cast, than the CFCF. And, uh, you know, after Canadians game, they would have the interviews and they would interviews the Montreal Impact, you know, and I, the Alouettes and all that. And plus I would watch some Canadian news yep. and not be an expert such as the Duke, but I would have a, you know, firm grasp on what's happening north of the border. Yep. But they, they just you absolutely, it? oh, we have a caller. Oh, Good evening, call. you are on the best damn sports show in Franklin County, you have four minutes. <laughs> hey. I mopped the show for about three, four weeks, and you guys started talking about soccer. That that I had nothing soccer. to do with that. That yeah. was that was me bringing that <laughs> up. Yeah, so. hey, talk soccer if you want. It's fun. <laughs> David, how's Once it going? Once every four years. Still there? Everything's good. Uh, just good on golfing and. Uh, <laughs> well, David, and, uh, tell it. Hey, David, tell us about Shinnecock Hills. What can you tell us about the course? Isn't it a lynx a lynx kind of course? Yeah, I think so. As a matter of fact, uh, some of our St. Albans guys went to go watch the practice round this really? week. Really? Wow. Brucey e. Thompson and uh, and a few other guys. You've never played there yourself, right? No, no. It's way out there. Yeah. They say that's a hard course to reach. There's only one road. It's par, it's a, right. It's a, par, it's a par 70. It sounds like a very tough. I love par yeah. 70s. Yeah. Yeah, it... Uh, yeah. It, um, it's famous for, uh, uh, back in 1995, they let the greens on uh, number seven get yeah. too hard, and they actually had to water the hole after every foursome went through. Right. Phil Mickelson especially got might have cost him an open. The greens got, got ridiculously, as Dave said, hard. Yeah, it was in, in, incredible. Fox Sports 1 has the coverage. Really? Yeah, I think for the second straight year, hmm. maybe 11 to 6 is TV coverage. Tomorrow, uh, Saturday, 11 to 8 on Fox Sunday, 11 to 8.30. They're hitting this hard. So, David, who do you have your money on this weekend? Um, I think I'm going to put it on Jordan Speed. Okay. Yeah, not a bad guess. Yeah, yeah. And you golf this evening? I did, and uh, I did not do very well, but I yeah. at least hit the ball okay. So okay, that's, all right. that's, that's good. So, yeah, the uh, viewers out there missed your presence. In fact, I'm getting the Neil, Nielsen. the panelists. Yeah, I'm uh, getting the Nielsen ratings tomorrow, so <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm shuddering on uh, what our demos are going to be. But uh, you'll be back well, after Labor Day, right, David? I'll be back after, uh, I think the golf league is all done, maybe like the. 12th of September or something. Okay. We're, we're holding a spot for it. How's this for a threesome tomorrow? A 1.47 uh, start time. Justin Thomas, Dustin Johnson, Tiger Woods. Wow. Jeez. Yeah. Probably a few people watching them. Huh? Yeah. yeah. And then the other uh, threesome you've got is uh, Speed, I think Mickelson, and... Wow. Uh, I'm looking Mickelson. right now. There, It's another big, big good one. Yeah. Yep, I'm looking for that yeah. right now. Well, he looks, David, if you ever have a week cough on a Wednesday. Or a rain out. Yeah, or a rain, rain out. Yeah, I thought I was going to have one tonight. Yeah, yeah, just, you know, pop oh, in. I'm sorry, they must be on 10. I'm looking at 10. Yeah. So. We got, yeah, we got 8.02 a.m. teeing off on the 10th. Rory McIlroy, uh, Rory, Jordan Spieth, and Phil Mickelson. Yep, another, another wow. very good threesome. Yeah. That's a great threesome. And Keegan, our guy Keegan's in there. Keegan tees off on the 10th at 114. So, yeah. Well, boys, I, uh, I'm sorry I called so late. I, uh, what I, maybe the next time, if I get out of the league early, I'll just come right over. Yeah, hey, just, do, it. Just, do it. Just do a Bob Hope on us. We, we let Leonard, we let Leonard yeah. kind of sneak <laughs> on one day. We'll definitely let you sneak on. Okay, we got to run. I have 30 seconds. All righty. Okay. Thanks, Dave. See you guys. Okay. See ya. Thanks for calling. So, 
That is oh it, fellas. Yeah, Fox, this is the second, maybe the third year, Fox. Didn't Fox had it at the weird Oregon course two years ago, I, I think? So yeah, yeah Fox is getting into golf. Yep. This will conclude this edition of the Best Damn Sports Show in Franklin County. For studio director Zach, the carrot top here, Mr. Nick Mumley, and my old pal, the Duke, I'm the Nighthawk. Until next week, remember, folks, you don't have to be a great athlete to be a good sport. Ciao for now.